Dear friends, greetings to everyone of you in the name of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ, He is so close to us. He is so loving. He is so caring. All the time He is looking upon us. So how much we are able to give our attention to Him. So we will receive more blessing from Him. So your vision, your focus upon the Lord is 100%. So you will receive 100% blessing. Because how much more we are loving Him. So his blessings will come in our lives. Mm-hmm. So our God is a God who all the time want to remember us and bless us. So he knows everything in detail about in your life. Okay. Sometimes we lost our blessing in our life. Several times we may forget what we lost. But our God, he used to remember us and he all the time want to restore all our blessing back in our life. Okay. So our God is a God who all the time want to restore our blessing back. Okay. Count your blessing, what you lost in your life. Okay. So if you believe today, the Lord is ready to restore everything back in your life. So are you lost your joy? May you lost your happiness, peace, anointing of the Holy Spirit, your spiritual life, the holiness of God, the spiritual gifts, so whatever it may be. Today the Lord is going to send his restoration grace upon you. The Lord want to restore everything back in your life with a grateful heart. Start to say thank you Lord for oh. your restoration grace. Thank you Jesus, you are restoring all my blessings back in my life. In the life of Job, he lost everything. He restored back everything in a double fold. Today in your life, the same Jesus who helped Job, he is alive today. Like Job, you may give your statement, you may declare and proclaim, My Redeemer alive! My Redeemer alive! He is living in me! I am living in Him. Everything will be restored back in my life. If you believe today, He will restore everything back in your life. All your lost blessings in your life will come back. Because our Lord is a God who is speaking to you. All things are possible with Him. So today, believe for your miracle. So, I would like to give you an example from the Bible. Turn your Bible, Luke chapter 19. So, verse 1 to 10. Here, one person called his name Zacchaeus. So, in the life of Zacchaeus, he lost his peace. So, he had everything, the worldly blessing was there. But no peace. The people, those who are all the time seeing him, they used to call him sinner. So the word hurt deeply inside the heart of Zacchaeus. There is no peace in his life. No proper sleep in the night time. Something is bothering inside his heart and mind. So he heard about Jesus. He boldly take a decision. I have to go to Jesus. He can only restore my peace, joy, happiness in my life. So he tried to find Jesus. So Luke chapter 19 was uh, one onwards if you read. He chosen a way to look upon Jesus. So he chose a tree. So what is the meaning of the tree? So the meaning of the tree is the cross of Jesus Christ. The cross used to cut off from the tree. So symbolically Zacchaeus climbed upon the tree he came close to the bleeding side of Jesus Christ to see him. So he chosen the cross is the only way for me. So because one day Jesus is going to be lifted up on the cross. So to give the meaning, so he climbed upon the tree. So Jesus understand everything. Whosoever meditating the cross more. Who, whosoever all the time meditating about the passion and the suffering of Jesus Christ on the cross. So they will be very close to the heart of Jesus. Cross is the power of God for the people, those who believe. Zacchaeus 100% believed in his heart. Only the cross can able to know Jesus more in my life. That's why Apostle Paul, he also boldly he declared, I will boast only about the cross of Jesus Christ in my life. Cross is the place of restoration. Zacchaeus came close to the cross. Jesus entered into his heart of Zacchaeus. So before that, Zacchaeus' faith was so short. Very little faith. The word mentioned he was a short man. 
only not only appearance or physically so his heart also very small ah. faith also very small so he climbed up on upon the tree his faith in grace yeah. symbolically he seen jesus christ on the cross ah. and jesus came close to him very closely came to jesus everything is restored back in his life yeah, luke 19:9 and 10 says jesus said today is salvation day in this home ah. today is the day of salvation yeah. Salvation is the restoration from the sin. So today is the day of salvation. Sake is restored back everything. See he came to the cro- nearby the cross. Full of the meditation of the cross. Full of the passion of the cross. Your, your eyes will be open. Such a people full of having the mind of Christ all the time. You will see Jesus face to face. Sake has climbed upon the tree. Come near to the bleeding side nearby the cross. There is a perfect view of Jesus. From that place you will restore you can restore everything back in your life today is the salvation day for you you are receiving your restoration from your sinful life along with that you are going to restore everything back in your life the verse same word says 9 and 10 says sakeus became son of abraham the sakeus became the son of abraham all his joy peace came back written restored back in his life so this verse 10 says luke 19 10 says son of man came to find and restore the lost Jesus came to restore everything back in your life yes. if you believe today Amen. he will restore everything back in your life all your happiness will come back Amen. all your joy will come back Amen. all your spiritual gifts will come back you are going to grow in your spiritual life Amen. you are going to be restored back your anointing sake is become the son of abraham so this uh, coming word says verse 7 and 8 says sake is hurry down this this is the word of jesus so sake as you calm down very quick today is my day to be a guest in your home so the restoration grace will bring jesus inside your home today is the day jesus christ is going to be a guest in your home so immediately sake as opening his heart master i give away half my income to the poor and if i am catch cheating i pay four times the damage the salvation joy is keep on bubbling inside the heart of zacchaeus so jesus came to restore everything back in your life zacchaeus written back everything great happiness Bo- overflowing joy he is enjoying the unspeakable joy so receive jesus open your heart to jesus today invite jesus as your guest for your home today jesus come in Lord live with me Lord dwell with me okay. fill my heart Lord fill my mind Lord Very Jesus I want you only in this world okay. Lord I no need anything rather than Jesus in this world You are crying from your heart today Today is the day of your restoration okay. my feeling loneliness Lord now Lord no one is there in this world to care for me I am feeling alone okay. Jesus is speaking to you okay. my daughter you are not alone okay. I never leave Leave you as an orphan in this world. No. I came to restore everything back in your life. I am going to restore the lost blessings in your life. Tum- Restoration grace is coming upon you right now. Okay. Today is the day of the salvation. Today is the day of the restoration. Okay. The Lord is going to restore everything back in your life. More okay. than sake is the Lord is loving you. Just to open your heart to Jesus today. But- your family, you are separated because of the problem. because of the problem the financial burden you are lost everything your properties come to jesus he is the source of blessing he is the place of restoration jesus came in this world to restore everything back in your life great joy is going to be come in your life today great peace is going to be come inside your heart today nothing shall separate you from the love of christ you are going yes. to be strong in the law you are going to be strong in the word of god you are going to be called as a child of jesus christ so finally another one restoration of the anointing we are able to meditate from the bible turn okay. your bible second kings chapter 6 verse 1 to 7 so here this is the one incident happened in the prophet elisa life if you read from verse 1 onwards the prophets the group of prophets under the leadership of elisha they are putting up one request to his master their master they are 
telling to elisha the place where we are staying it is too small so we have no elbow room Dusra? we need a little space around us we are very much uh, kind of a very small it is a uh, no space we want to do everything freedom what you want so give us a permission to go down to jordan where each of us will uh, cut the wood and build our bigger room so elisa said go ahead verse 3 says eh? they are not uh, go alone they are calling elisa also please come along with us elisa also went along with them verse 4 and 5 says But they came to the place called jordan so jordan is a place of vision so place of vision very focusedly so they are starting cutting the tree in the place called jordan the place of vision and focus so without vision the people will be perish so here one person is cutting the tree and lack in the vision so during that time his axe head flew off and sank inside the river so what is the meaning of the axe head the axe head the real meaning is the leadership Allah. the holiness spiritual gifts so whenever we are not focus in the calling god called us whenever we are going astray away from the focus god given us before our eyes whenever our eyes are distracting to the world whenever we are going away from the holy life the axe head flew off and sang inside the river the person lo- lost his blessing is crying oh, oh master ha. help me oh. elisa asked him verse 6 says where did it sing where you lost your anointing to- the things which uh, what are the things is distracted you from the godly ways so we should know where we lost so the man showed exact the place then what elisa did elisa cut off a branch so the branch the meaning of the branch is jesus it is a wood the branch was cutted so elisa cut the branch that is the cross of jesus elisa tossed it at the spot the lost axe head floated up restoration from the cross restoration oh. through the cross branch cut off jesus bruis full of suffering oh, full of wounds oh. to restore us back everything Jai. are you going through sickness in your family continuous sickness every month sickness where you lost your healing come to the branch the cut the branch cut on the cross that is, that is the place of restoration the prophet full of prophecy and anointing he lost his everything the yeah. important thing the axe head is flew off and sank inside the river the worldly things he was inside the vision the place called jordan the place of vision he diverted from the focus the worldly temptation is disturbing you you have to read the bible and pray every day but we are not able to have the small time for jesus we are wasting how much time we are wasting with the worldly things we should be very careful where we lost our anointing the man full of focus in the place of vision distracted the excred the leadership gone the ho- the holiness gone the spiritual gifts gone so he came to the cross through the cut of the uh, branch the lost blessing restored in his life in the cut off a branch it make the axe head floated up verse 7 elisa said to him grab it the man reached out and took it who is the branch Co- jesus christ sakaria yes. 38 says sakaria 38 the last portion says i bring the wonder my servant the name called branch the chosen king this is the branch the chosen king jesus christ my servant the sunrise the branch means jesus isaiah 11 one says a shoot will come out from the stump of jesse from the stump of jesse and a branch will bear fruit from its roots branch is jesus christ isaiah 53 2 says jesus on the cross he grew up before him like a tender plant and like a root out of a dry ground 
he had no form and he had no majesty no beauty and we should look at him and there is no attractiveness that we should desire him the branch become totally bruised on the cross the branch has the full restoration power now if you allow jesus inside your life mm-hmm. jesus want to restore everything back in your life uh-huh. the prophet restored back his prophetical anointing he restored back is leadership he restored back the holiness of god and all the spiritual gifts today jesus want to help you oh, how many of you want the lost blessings should come back in your life where you lost your anointing oh. where the evil spirit is disturbing you in yeah. which part of area the worldly flesh the worldly lust is disturbing you and distracting you where you are not able to grow in your spiritual life why you are not give the small time to jesus every day in your life why where you are not able to read the bible every day you have to rectify these places it jesus is, is ready to help you to hello jesus lord Before jesus come inside my heart lord all the unwanted things against you shall go away from my life lord if you are opening your heart today lord want to restore everything back in your life Okay. any of you are lost your peace okay. any of you are lost your happiness okay. any of you are lost your all your properties you are in the loan problem now okay. where you lost okay. where you lost okay. where the anointing sing inside the valley sins and valley sorrows find the place okay. you can tell jesus lord this particular sin is disturbing me a lot okay. lord the particular temptation disturbing me a lot lord i need the deliverance okay. lord i need the restoration okay. now this is a time of your deliverance okay. everyone close your eyes right now okay. how the holy spirit is coming upon you okay. the bible says okay. where there is a spirit of god there is liberty and deliverance okay. you can open your heart and ask the lord lord fill me with your holy spirit today okay. how many of you are need the holy spirit? spirit in your life okay. holy spirit is the very key for our restoration the bible says yeah. when the holy spirit comes okay. he will convict us about our sin he will convict our heart okay. my son my daughter you are doing that sin again and again don't do that come close to jesus jesus is hanging on the cross oh. how long you will keep on bro is jesus already on the cross how long you will disturb him again and again by doing your sin the holy spirit is convicting the sins inside your heart now okay. and he will lead you towards the righteousness and the judgment of god okay. let us welcome the holy spirit now okay. holy spirit come and fill my heart lord okay. holy spirit come and fill me okay. how many of you are crying for the new anointing now okay. how the holy spirit is coming okay. when the holy spirit come upon you you ja- shall receive the power and strength now the divine power is filling you okay. the divine strength is is filling you What? filled with the holy spirit now okay. filled with the holy spirit now okay. holy spirit is delivering everyone of you right now okay. all your spiritual gifts are restoring back okay. all your bible reading your spiritual life is coming back okay. all the lost the spiritual gifts everything is coming back the lord is restoring your leadership again you will never fall from your holiness again the lord is helping you okay. thank you lord for your blessing okay. lord i pray if any one of your children going through any sickness and weaknesses and health issue okay. your bible already says first peter 224 we are healed by the blood of jesus by the wounds of jesus okay. by his stripes we are healed we are already okay. healed Amen. lord let the healing grace shall prevail in every one of your children's life okay. restore their health back lord okay. lord if any one of your children are going through the financial problem and the loan problem and the debts issue okay. send your grace upon them Oh. Lord they shall restore everything back in your life according to Philippians 4:19. Okay. Thank you Lord Jesus for your blessing. Okay. We give all the glory. Okay. Thank you for answered our prayer. Okay. In Jesus name we pray. Okay. Amen.